Hey everyone, back for a Thread Thursday. What we're doing is battlement couching on our stitch wheel. All right, so the aim is to try and get them square. So I'm just noticing my lines aren't so perfect. So I can just already see that this is slightly out, but uh, I'll try and fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to come back the other way. I'm all trying to keep my squares. I, I can notice that they're not perfect squares. But once again, we are doing this as a learning exercise and it doesn't need to be absolutely, absolutely perfect. All right. So I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking maybe this corner could have one more now I'm just gonna keep my needle here out of the way and let's see I've got a brown which matches in with these these are the um, gorgeous threads that Donna sent me Loving using those, Donna. I've also got a green. So. All right, so we're going to go dark to light. So I think um, I'll use green as the next one. Now I know that I'm using a very fine thread. So this is going to require a little bit of my focus. And basically we're doing it not on top of, but right next to the stitches so we're going to do all of them so we've got this layered effect Now I'm just finishing the third colour, which is, I've put it to the other side of the, so it's gone orange, green, yellow or tan. So they're layered in this crisscross pattern, but next to each other. And now, do is couch so we're going to come up but we're only going to couch the top so just couching the yellow so I'm going to do that all the way through And then when I've finished that, I'm going to do a split stitch all around the outside.
think just as I'm finishing it up, I can notice that I didn't bring these lines down close enough to the corner. And um, I think even though this orange is quite, I've doubled up the thread for the, the outside. The orange is quite defined, but I'm not feeling it was defined enough for the couching. So they're all done, but it's just actually may have been better to double up the thread perhaps for the the couching. I may go back and do that. Oh, that was super long. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> Let me just test one out. Oops. If I can get the needle in the right spot. There you go. All right, to me that's a little, just that tad bit more defined. So I'm going to go back in and do all of those again, just with one more thread, so as it's like a double thread. But there you go, that's battlement couching. <laughs> My missing bit. Perhaps I can go in and fill those in too. Now, someone the other day was asking about my stitch book. I haven't done a lot on it. I kind of, um, I guess I got distracted by the tags and I'd started this before the tags. So we were up to here where I was doing a few different flower and leaf kind of ideas. And then I had one where I was just playing with color with straight stitch. And then with the tag for Tag Tuesday, um, I'm, these are the extra little um, tatting that I made. So I did a creative tatting page with colours and with pistol stitch, French knots and just putting on a couple of bit of extra bits of lace. But I also did some couching on the little spare bits. So I felt this was very spring-like. So that, the person who asked, forgot who it was that asked, um, oh, I know who it, I know who you are, I know who asked, but there's just a lot of names, so I don't always remember everyone's name, but I do know who asked, and um, I hope your book is going along well too, but that's where I'm up to, so I've still got one, two, three, four to do, and I've got to find some of this and cut some more pages, that's that. Uh, the only other thing, with the big work, I started another another little piece and um, I think this is what I was using. So I thought, because I put my mushroom panel on the really big piece, um, that I would sort of extend it a bit with some flowery, more mushroomy but flowery kind of looking things. So. Just been playing around, adding a little bit more satin green to the um, the work, adding some darker colour and one of, I made a blue tatting ring, a couple of rings with the um, picos. And this is where I'm up to with this. So I don't know if I was, maybe I was using this. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, I the big piece is coming along. Uh, it's just I think when I've finished this panel, what I'm going to do is have a look and see if I think it actually will work with the rest of it. And if it does, then I'll put it on. If it doesn't, this will be something else, of course. I'm not quite sure if this is actually a bit different than what I was using. Let me 
bit darker. So I felt that this was a very blank space up the top here. Maybe it is a bit darker. A bit darker and thicker. All right, so we're just going to weave a few few of these in extra. Just having fly stitch hanging down like like we're in the jungle. This will go on something else if it doesn't quite work. In fact, I might not even uh, go all the way across with this. I thought it might be nice to have a have it all across the top. I may do. One never knows. I do think I work a lot improvisationally. Um, I don't, I'm not the type of person that plans everything out and thinks ahead about it all. I'm actually going to do one of these. I'm coming down here and do another one of these over here so that we're getting a blend of the different greens. Make it a bit wonky. Yeah, I'm very much, um, as anyone who's watched any of the past videos would know, even when I was studying music, I was studying improvisation. I wasn't studying classical or note for note. I was studying the overall effect of, uh, you know, creativity. And uh, that's really what a lot of jazz musicians do when they're improvising. And some people would say that there could be some parts of it that are just noise, and that might be true. Um, however, there's still a lot of skill, and it's still digging deep into your own creativity. So uh, that's what I'm about. <laughs> I actually think I might just, just now thinking that this might be a whole wall of really thick and luscious hanging down fronds. Let's have a look. Yeah, I was definitely using that. That's what happens when you put it down for a bit and you forget what you were doing. Might even add a bit of this as well get a bit of dark in there too. So this is going to be what I'm, I think this is what I'm going to stay working on for a bit with my embroidery. And that's it for Thread Thursday and I will see you soon and um, have a great week. Lots of love. Bye for now.